Well, I, I was I broke in Minneapolis with Dick and Dusty both there. They were, they were my heroes instantly. Are you kidding? Right. Well, I, listen, I started with Larry Henning, Ray Stevens, Dick Murdoch, Dusty Rhodes. Oh, man. Don Morocco, Jimmy Snook, are you kidding? I didn't have a chance. Why, now I know why you're so I, nice. I, I, I was divorced in six months. <laughs> you know what? It, it was work, you know, but Rick never realized it when it came to those chops, so he'd go ahead and beat me to death. Yeah, he, he'd I never would cover up, man. I had a flat chest anyhow. You know, <laughs> I never had been doing too many damn bench presses. <laughs> but anyhow, Rick loved my chest, oh. and he'd... He'd zero in on that right away there, and I'd come home, and my yeah. wife would look at me, and she'd say, oh, my God, yeah. you've been working with Rick again, <laughs> haven't you? I'd just have blood, yeah. blood prints. Yes, yeah. There's no lie to yeah, it. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, I would blood blisters, you know. Me and Terry and Dory, if I didn't remember, Eddie had a beach crap bonanza, right? So we're flying back from Jacksonville one night, and he's playing the damn country music, right? And he'd been drinking all day, right? Which I, 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 I cover my eyes when yeah, I hear yeah. this and, and he, he just flew right past the airport all over the ocean. <laughs> I'm yeah. scared the hell out of me. Just kept on going. <laughs> he flew right over the airport, right, right out over the bay. I said, where, where, where do you think he's going, Terry? He said, he had, playing, he had a country playing country music in his airplane. Right. <laughs> no. Good Lord. You know, we invented hardcore. He did one night, right, with me in Nashville. He says to me he's going to beat me up after the match with Steamboat. He said, I'm going to get a little heat on you. We're going to shoot this angle, kid. <laughs> we had been at everything. So he, threw, you know, he threw me out of the ring, right? And being on thing myself, and he's beating me up. And he says, come here. I said, where? He said, I'm going to, to pile drive you through the table. I said, what? I never heard of that. <laughs> no, no one had done it yet, right? Nobody had done it. Yeah, so he picked me up. I saw somebody had a picture of it last night. Picks me up in a pile driver. My legs were straight up. He throws his feet out, damn, the table didn't break. He almost killed me and himself. God, he, he ruptured a disc and he almost broke my neck. I said, what the hell are you doing? He said, I just thought it would break. <laughs> but that was the first time I ever did that. I swear first to God, time I I'm, still, I'm, 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 I'm still two wives behind him. No, I've had four, he's had six. <laughs> yeah, but he shot up more cars than yeah, you yeah, I know. <laughs> Wow. You know, Wahoo was gun nuts. You know, I don't know who mentioned it to start with or whatever, but we were up there. No, Gary Hart gave you the idea. Well, to go out there and put the plastic yeah. bag over Flair's head. It's good Lord. <laughs> Barnett went crazy. He went, huh? Oh. What are you guys doing? You're going to lose my TV show. <laughs> yeah, well, damn, yeah, we damn near lost it. Then, then what happened, though, is they had the microphone there, you know, and Rick asked me, though, I thought it was pretty shady there. He went ahead and he asked me, he says, uh, do you quit? You know, say I quit. I said, no. No, I didn't said, say it. Did I say it? The referee no. said it. I said no, it. No, no, you said it on oh. the microphone. Oh, yeah. You said it on the microphone. There was, yeah. Say I quit. And he said, no. And I, and I said, no. And he said, say I quit. And I said, no. He said, yes. And I said, no. And he said, yes. And I said, no. And then <laughs> the dirty bastard went ahead and said, no. And I said, yes. <laughs> and then went ahead and rang the damn bell. And that's how I lost the match. <laughs> uh, but we just tore that building <laughs> down, man. God, I mean, right. it was one he time, did, one time I was going to cut myself and he threw me in the, in the we're wrestling in the Omni in Atlanta. And he hit me with that damn lariat. The blade was stuck in my head for the next 30 minutes. <laughs> Couldn't get it out. You know the best. Because you like, you see him coming across the ring like this, and bam, he hit you with that damn lariat. Yeah. Good Lord. I think Rick and I always went ahead and uh, yeah, we made. I know point. Rick for I know Rick for certain, and I I hope to think that I did. But I I always tried to make a guy look better at the end of the yeah. match. No matter. And Rick Flair he, did he, that with everybody that he got in the ring he, with. Even an, an enhancement guy. Um, you know, that was to me. It was that that word. I never, I never liked the word job guy. Those yeah. guys enhanced us. Yeah, but I we love enhanced that. them. That's yeah, the, I, love that, that I, I never enhanced. liked the word job guy. There was no, no nobody was a job guy. They were out there busting their ass to work with us, and we busted our ass. And guys like Terry and I and Harley was the same way. Harley gave sixty percent of the match to a guy that you know nobody even knew who he was before he beat him. I mean, that's what we did. You right. Know? It was no, I mean, that beating up a guy and getting in two seconds, I mean, that that wasn't what we did for a living. One time I came back up and I wrestled Rufus for an hour in front of about 300 people. I walked up in the locker room in that butterfly robe. Right. The white one, the butterfly, right? Yeah. I, I, I couldn't find it, right? Bob, everybody, I was the only guy in the ring. I couldn't find it, right? Look, on the parking lot, a kid wore my fucking robe. 
This is my language, yeah. Right. Can you pour my roll? Run on the street, give me the finger. <laughs> <laughs> that's a wonderful that's, story. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the truth. Yeah, but that's a, great. That's six, great. Six thousand dollar robe. Wow. That makes, that they makes, didn't give a shit. They just threw yourself in a that round. Makes and that's that's wonderful that that happened. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's terrible. <laughs> she had this phenomenal match in her debut, right? And I was managing her, and I introduced her, and it was really cool as shit. And then um, we, she came through, and Hunter and Jane. Uh, um, Getty is there, everybody, all the bosses, Michael Hayes, Dusty, everybody goes, God, great job. Her name is Charlotte. I remember her real name is Ashley, but they call her right. Charlotte. And she walks out the door with me. We're walking over to the dressing room, and she just starts crying hysterically. And I go, what's wrong? She said, Dad, do you think Reed saw my match? How do you answer it? I mean, I mean, I just, I mean, it just killed me, but that's all she thinks about it. Do you think he saw my, my match tonight? No, I just started crying too. I mean, what do you do? What do you do? I don't have the answer to that question, but I, the answer is I think he did see her. You know, and, 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 and here's the deal, WWE. When you walk through that gorilla position, they call it gorilla, right? right. With the entrance, right? Right, right? When Vince McMahon is sitting at the table with the controls and he controls everything, right? It's just the way it is, right? He comes through that curtain, he just praying for the thumbs up. If he goes like this, <laughs> <laughs> you got a problem. <laughs> if he goes like this, you go back and go, God, give me a beer. Thank God. 